Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today we are in the third Sunday of the Advent, year B. The first reading from the book of prophet Isaiah speaks about the Messiah. The Messiah who is empowered and blessed by the Spirit of the Lord. Also the passage speaks about the mission of the Messiah. We are also aware that Jesus himself read the same passage in the synagogue. In the second reading, St. Paul invites us to rejoice always and to pray without ceasing and to give thanks in all the circumstances because this is the will of God for us. We should always rejoice because God has done great things for us in our life. We should always pray to be in communion with the Lord. We should always give thanks because all things come from God for the purpose of our well-being. The Gospel reading of today is taken from St. John, tells us that God sent John the Baptist with a special mission as a witness to announce and to prepare for the coming of the Lord. The Gospel clearly indicates that John was fully committed to his mission. He did not deviate himself from the mission that, that he was entrusted. He testifies that he was not a light and he came to bear witness to the light. He states that he was the voice crying in the wilderness telling people to prepare themselves for the coming of the Lord. He told that he was not the Messiah or a prophet. At the same time, John also testified in humility that he was not worthy enough to untie the strap of the sandal of the Lord. In the Gospel, we are told that John speaks all these to answer a question posed by priests and Levites who were sent by Jews. The question was, Who are you? These words echo the spiritual attitude that we should embrace during the season of Advent as we wait for the coming of Jesus. John the Baptist could live with this spiritual attitude because first, he was aware of his own self and second, he was aware of the purpose of his life. These two are essential to live a meaningful life to be aware of oneself and to be aware of the purpose of one's life. On the first week of Advent, we began to prepare ourselves spiritually and on the second week, emotionally, to welcome the Lord. In this third week, let us try to understand who we are and the purpose of our life. Who am I? Who are you? This three-word question is not a simple question to answer. This question is not about our body or our profession or about our wealth or even about the status or education or the family background. This question refers to the inner being of ourselves. The answer to this question clarifies the purpose of our life. The reality is that no one can give an answer for us. We need to find it for ourselves. But our reflection must begin from the foundational truth that we are created in the image and likeness of God and we are the beloved children of God. No one's birth is an accidental birth. We are here because the plan and the will of God. Each one has a purpose. When our life is in line with that purpose, our life becomes meaningful. Of course, it will become a bliss. I would like to end the reflection with a passage from the encyclical of Pope Francis, Fratelli Tutti, paragraph number 197. This will help us to understand ourselves better. I quote, we ask ourselves, why I am doing this? What is my real aim? For as time goes on, reflecting on the past, the real and potentially painful questions will be, 
how much love did I put into my work? What did I do for the progress of our people? What mark did I leave on the life of society? What real bonds did I create? What positive forces did I unleash? How much social peace did I sow? What good did I achieve in the position that was entrusted to me? Let us continue to reflect and prepare ourselves to welcome the Lord. Amen.